instant impact on a patio or by a front door is easy to achieve with pots. Height is important in any garden design and you can introduce height into pots by using an obelisk here. I'm using two classics, Rosa Ballerina, a tough blush pink shrub rose, and then this wonderful clematis, which is clematis Madame Julia Corivan. Together, flowering at the same time, they look gorgeous. Now, watering is really important to consider when you're thinking about growing in containers. This is called a water saver. You simply insert it into the base of the pot and it acts like a reservoir for the roots. The compost that I'm using is just a 50-50 mix of peat-free loam-based compost, a soil-based compost, and a good quality peat-free multi-purpose. Plus, I've mixed in a few handfuls of grit for drainage. And then, to get plants off to a good start, I'm incorporating some of this mycorrhizal fungi. And what it will do is form a beneficial symbiotic relationship with plant roots, which allows them to take up nutrients much more effectively. What I'm going to do is pop the rows right in the center. That goes, there we go. Now the clematis. In we go, my beauty. I'm just going to tie up the plants together so that I can cunningly slip the obelisk over the top. Remove any bamboo canes from the climber. Clip off the string that you use to tie the two plants together and tease out the foliage. To introduce some colour at the base of the pot, to shade the roots of the clematis, I'm using geranium sanguinium var striatum. Good watering in, this will flower for months.